everyone. I am the Wolf Cook and welcome to the Wolf Kitchen with today's skyrocketing prices on food and gas and just about everything else. It is more important than ever to save money where you can. And for those of you who still like eating out of restaurants or if you can no longer afford to do so because at these restaurants the quality and quantity of the food is down while the prices are going up enough. Well, the Wolf Cook says enough is enough. The Wolf Cook has your back. That's because I'm going to show you how to cook these restaurant quality meals in your own kitchen. Whether we're cooking steak, chicken, potatoes, or beans and rice, I'm going to show you how to cook it at a fraction of the price. Today, I will be cooking my sweet and chili shrimp kebabs recipe with pineapple over rice pilaf. With my step-by-step -step instructions, this meal is also going to be delicious and have you saying, mmm, mm, that's good. Well, alicia's good. And why is that? Because my recipe, as always, is Wolf Cook tested and Wolf Cook approved. Now, for those of you who are visiting for the very first time, or you still have not yet subscribed, hit that subscribe button and notification bell, and let's get started. In the Wolf Cook videos, the first thing we always do, we start off with the ingredients. First we have sweet and chili sauce, and you can use any brand that you choose. And to elevate this sauce, we're going to add honey, crushed red pepper, and soy sauce. Here I have one cup of cooked rice. And to make our rice pilaf, we have spaghetti pasta. And I have broken them into smaller pieces. And we're going to cook these by first adding butter. And after they cook down, we're going to add beef broth. And now for the main ingredient, 16 peeled and deveined shrimp. And to make our kebabs, we have four double prong skewers. And to finish making our shrimp kebabs, we're going to add pineapple, bite-sized tomatoes, and finally, we have some dried parsley for our garnishment. And now, it's time for us to bring this all together. To a heated pan, we're going to add one-fourth stick of butter. Now, we're going to let the butter melt. Now we're going to add in the spaghetti pasta that has been broken up into pieces. Now I'm going to stir and let this cook till it get a golden brown. Now this is turning a golden brown. You see the butter is starting to turn brown also. Now it's time to add in the water. I'm going to give it a quick stir. Then I'm going to bring this to a boil and then I'm going to let cook for 8 to 10 minutes. Now I'm going to work on the kebabs. Now it's time to load the skewer. Now we're going to take the first skewer. I love the double prongs. First we're going to add pineapple. Next, we're going to add a shrimp. Then we're going to add a tomato. Now we're going to add another pineapple and we're going to repeat the process until the skewer is full. And now that the first skewer is completed, 
We're going to do the same thing to the other three skewers. All done, and they look good. Now that we got all four skewers complete, now it is time to check on the pasta. My spaghetti pasta has been cooking for about 10 minutes, and now I'm going to taste and check to see if it's done. It's almost done, and now it's time to add the beef broth. Now I'm going to give it a quick stir. I'm going to bring this to a boil and I'm going to let it cook for two to three minutes. And now it's time to elevate that sweet and chili sauce. First thing you're going to do is need a bowl to mix the sauce. For the kebabs, I'm going to add a little less than half of the bottle of sweet and chili sauce into this bowl. I'm going to save the rest to make more of this sweet and chili sauce. Now I'm going to add some honey. Let me add a little bit more. Now I'm going to add the crushed red peppers. Now this is going to be real spicy. Don't use the red peppers if you don't like spicy. And now I'm going to add the soy sauce. Now I'm going to blend this all together. And now it's ready for the kebabs. I'm going to use a brush to add sauce to the kebabs. I'm going to start with brushing the first side. It is okay to add sauce to the pineapple and the tomatoes. I'm making sure to put an equal amount of sauce to each one of the kebabs. Now that the first side is done, I'm going to turn them all over and do the same thing to the other side. And now that I'm finished putting sauce on all the kebabs, it is time to finish the rice. Now that my spaghetti pasta is done, it is time to add it to the rice. Now I'm going to turn off the burner. Now I'm going to mix my spaghetti pasta with the rice. I have my fire on medium heat while I mix the rice. Now I'm not going to add any more seasoning because my sweet and chili sauce has all the seasoning I need. Plus the sweetness from the pineapple going to add added flavor to the rice. Now that this is all mixed together, now I'm going to turn the burner to low. I'm going to cook the rest of the sweet and chili sauce. Into a preheated pan, I'm going to add the same sauce that I added to the kebabs. Just to recap, this was a sweet and chili sauce that I added honey, crushed red peppers, and soy sauce to. I'm going to give this a stir. And I'm going to let this cook on low heat while my kebabs are cooking. Time to cook the shrimp kebabs. Cast iron griddle has been preheating for five minutes. I'm going to use some avocado oil to brush the griddle so the shrimp won't stick. And make sure to use some high heat oil so the oil will not burn. Now it's time to add the kebabs. Now I'm going to let this cook on the first side for about two and a half minutes. For the people watching, you might have to adjust that time. Depending on the pan you're using, the size of the shrimp, and the size of the flame. The shrimp kebabs have been cooking for 2 minutes and 45 seconds on side 1. Now it's time to turn. They look like they are cooking nicely. If you are cooking these indoors like I am, you might not get an even char because of the size of the pineapple. These can be cooked outside on your gas grill. As I turn over the third kebab, some of the shrimp do not have char marks. 
That is perfectly fine because the flavor is there. The unevenness of the pineapple has caused this shrimp not to cook evenly. Now I'm going to turn over the last kebab. Now I'm going to let this side cook for two minutes. It has been two minutes later and now it's time to check the shrimp. I made sure to thoroughly cook that one shrimp that wasn't cooking earlier. Now I'm taking my first kebab off. I tell you, it is smelling good. Now I'm going to take the remaining skewers off. Now that I've taken all four of the kebabs off, I'm going to show you. Look at that everyone. It sure looks good. And it's going to be spicy. And now it's time to plate. First, I'm going to add the rice. Now I'm going to add the first shrimp kebab. Then I'm going to add the second. Now I'm going to add some of that cooked sweet and chili sauce. Now again, this sauce is going to be sweet and spicy. Now I'm going to add some extra sauce on the side. And now I'm going to garnish it with parsley. All done, everyone. Sweet and chili shrimp kebabs with pineapple and tomatoes over rice pilaf. And now what we all been waiting for, the taste test. I'm going to start by taking the shrimp and the pineapple off the first skewer. Then I'm going to get me a little rice first. This rice, I must say, looks like that rice aroni. I'm going to add me a piece of pineapple. Mmm, good. Now I'm going to get me a piece of shrimp. Look at that shrimp. Now I'm going to dip it in the sauce. Look at that. Mm -mm. That's good. Well, everyone, my shrimp kebab dish is done. And I showed you how delicious it looked and how delicious it tastes. Mm -mm. I can't wait to eat this. I make these videos to help those of you who like restaurant quality foods without that restaurant price. And cooking at home, you don't even have to leave a tip. I want to again thank everyone who keep coming back to my channel. I truly appreciate you. Now please do me a favor and hit that subscribe button, that like button, the notification bell, share this video and leave a comment. And also tell your family, your friends, your co-workers, and even those neighbors to tune in to watch the Wolf Cook cook these delicious restaurant quality meals. Again, thanks for watching and see you soon.